everyone, Josh Parmer here. Today I'm giving my thoughts on the 2016 Japanese comedy film, At the Terrace. At the Terrace is written and directed by Kinji Yamauchi and stars a bunch of people that I don't know, but I will be getting into that later because there's quite a few characters here. It's a film that's all one location. It's on a terrace. You know, basically a big fancy walkout porch on a house and there's a party going on for I think like a company meeting and um, yeah there's a woman who comes out with a drink and then a man comes out and the man's kind of like you know into her and wanting to be flirtatious and he uh, kind of sighs aloud and another woman comes out from the other side of the house and she catches what's going on and essentially, a bunch of these characters all come and go out of this house and keep ending up on this terrace. And the way they interact with one another and the way everything intertwines and how these characters connect from one another, who's with this person and this person, how this person relates to this person and what they did and how there's just all these inner like connecting pieces. It's like a very intricate web and um, it could have been like a a cluster if you know what I mean but uh, it really holds itself together um, it it's, it's kind of complex in a way like with what character is doing what um, but it's simple at the same time if that makes sense like there's a lot of information that happens it packs and throws a lot out at you and there's a lot of you know dialogue but that's how this film works it's basically if you took like a Hong Sang Su dialogue heavy film and just filmed it in one location without ever breaking the location. Now this, in my opinion, even though I love Hong and he's one of my favorite directors of all time, this has a much more interesting visual style. There's, you know, there's full, like, stage shots. Because uh, I believe Kinji Yamauchi did stage plays and wrote stage plays. I don't think this is based off one, but it's set up and shot like a stage play. And it's really, really cool in that sense. And, um... Yeah, so, like I said, there's the wide shots of, like, the whole stage and the whole terrace with the people just talking, and it'll cut up close to certain people's face at key moments, key dialogues. Uh, there will be characters having conversations in the background, and then sharply in the foreground where characters were out of focus at first, they'll start talking to each other, and their conversation will be going, while at the same time this one's going. And, obviously, I don't speak Japanese, but the way that the subtitles were handled, it was bouncing back and forth, but it was doing it in a way that made sense, and it's just really awesome. And even speaking of, you know, Japanese native tongue, um, well, people that speak Japanese will have a greater appreciation of this film than I ever could, and I absolutely adored it to begin with. Um, uh, I really don't want to spoil anything because I think the joy of this movie is just the characters' banters and interaction with one another and where that goes and who does what with who and all that. And um, it's funny. It has some serious moments. Um, it's weird, though, because there's not a character I like or dislike more than the other. They're all interesting. They all equally pissed me off, but that's just human nature, and I laughed at all of them, and I liked all of them, and I was intrigued by all of them. The two women in the film uh, have really great performances as well. I don't think anybody's really stand out. They all do what they're supposed to, and uh, their performances are just absolutely natural, but uh, it's the dialogue and the script and the direction mixed with those performances that um, the director gets out of them. It makes this movie practically perfect. Um, there's not really anything to nitpick that comes to mind. I don't think it's quite a masterpiece, but it's so close. Um, I really, really, really dug this film, and I think it's one that people need to see. Sadly, I don't know how much more play it's going to get outside of Japan, but it was it's something I'd love to see an indie like label pick up and distribute and give a chance on, because it's films like this that go unseen, and, and that's a shame. So, uh, At the Terrace is... An absolutely great film. I still have yet to make my top 10 list, but it's going to go on there if I go with 2016. And uh, if this technically, if I'm going for the 2017 part, because I don't think it's been released like in actual theaters in Japan yet, then it's most certainly uh, close to the top for this year for me personally. 
So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This is my re first review in a long, long time. So um, yeah, I'm probably rusty. But anyway, thanks. Um, subscribe if you'd like. Let me know if you've seen At the Terrace. I know not a lot of people have. But um, yeah, I'll see you next time.